One of the busiest places in Fresco High School is the Chromebook station. Students are frequently coming up to Ms. Romero with questions of all kind regarding their Chromebook. There is one question she hears more than others. The biggest problem with the students with their Chromebooks is they don't charge their Chromebooks. So when they get to class, they come to school, the, their Chromebook is not working because it's not charged and they come to me asking for chargers, which I cannot provide. So the, the best way to fix it is for the students to charge their phones, I mean their Chromebooks, at home before they get here to school. Leave your charger at home. You don't need to bring it in. If a student loses their charger, a new one can be purchased for $39 through OnlineSchoolFees.com. It's very significant that the charger is the same brand as the Chromebook. We have, Sam, we have three, dif three different models, which is a Samsung, Dell, and HP. And they're all three different chargers. Mrs. Romero fancies certain factors of being the Chromebook lady. My favorite part of the, about this job is interacting with the students. Because I love IT and I love helping them with the Chromebooks when they have a problem. I did IT for many years before I did this. Bef I, then I did ca cafe. I was an assistant for the cafe. And I got the opportunity to come work here at the Chrome station to help students with any issues they have with the Chromebooks. Mrs. Romero is both popular among students and staff as the Chromebook lady. I don't really have a, either they call me the Chromebook lady or they call me Ms. Romero. Remember to charge your Chromebook overnight, so it will be ready for a full day's use. Also, do your best to hang on to your charger, and it's an expensive item to lose. Special thanks to the hard work and positive attitude of Mrs. Romero brings to the FHS every day. For Rack TV, I'm Sarah Larson. One of the tastier electives at Frisco High is Intro to Culinary Arts. It is a fun environment filled with exciting learning and opportunities to create amazing dishes. The students are able to derive much knowledge that will assist them later in life. They definitely are cooking up a storm. Something that I've learned in culinary arts that I guess I'd never really thought about was just like how much, I guess, safety and thought you have to put into like actually starting to cook so you don't hurt yourself or others. I've also learned how to handle ovens, microwaves, in an easier and a better function. They are able to cook many dishes and bake delicious pastries. My favorite meal that I've made in this class are quesadillas, which uh, usually what I do is that I coat them with cheese and, and as much cheese as I can put on. I want students to learn um, basics of cooking, uh, taking care of themselves. Hopefully when they graduate and go on to college and go on to their careers, you know, they will be able to take care of themselves, provide for their families, you know, make a simple meal and go on and be successful. Honestly, I enjoy any of the lessons that we're actually cooking, like the time that we started making breakfast foods, which I deviated and uh, started making crunch wraps. I am the crunch wrap master in this classroom. Like we just made some uh, some like miniature pumpkin pies. Those were pretty good. Just had a I just ate one in like a whole bite. Culinary arts class is beneficial to students after high school. The benefits of learning um, the things in the culinary is better um, understanding of the appliances used in the kitchen along with understanding the recipes as well as for some people in here they have not cooked before so then this would be more of a better experience to try and cook at home. The class is able to teach students about safety when it comes to the kitchen. The culinary arts class is enjoyable and in an environment where a student can thrive. Students can unlock their inner cooking skills and sharpen it. If you are interested in taking culinary arts, talk to your counselor. It's a class that can open doors and fill you up at the same time. And for RACC TV, I'm Holly Inktitik. If you are looking for an elective that is fun and will keep you on your toes, then you should consider dance at FHS. Dance is a class that allows you to get your body moving, learn something new, as well as improve your technique and flexibility. I love Dance One because A, we get to work with Coach Coleman and she's just lovely to work with. And then also we're exposed to so many different dance styles that we get to work on and also work on our technique and flexibility, which is so much fun to do, although hard work, but Coach Coleman definitely makes it fun and you should definitely take dance. 
Coach Coleman teaches all styles and levels, from Dance One to the Stars Dance Team. She has been a dancer since she was a child and can help students reach their dance goals. So personally, I've been dancing since I was three, and that included studio dancing and competitive dancing. And so then when I had got to high school, I wanted something in, the, in addition to theater, which I'm also in, to be involved in and get active. So I joined dance, which I found Colt Coleman, who is an amazing person. She works diligently with each of her students, and it makes dance not just a learning environment, but an environment to free yourself, especially throughout a hard day of the academics and all of that, especially AP classes my senior year, just having like that break in dance and with an amazing teacher and amazing friends in that class, it just creates an amazing environment to be in and also learning. Many dance students end up in professional careers in the movie industry and on Broadway. In fact, some of the best dancers are guys. I usually just thought like dance was just like body movements, but I realized that it takes a lot of effort to look good. Like you can dance, but I feel like it takes a lot of effort and a lot of practice to actually look good while you dance. I enjoy being able to interact with everyone because I feel like everybody in that class is so open that we're able to express each other and talk to each other and it's just a really fun class to be in with friends. It's something that I'm always excited about because it's something that I enjoy and I think is really fun and um, Mrs. Coleman makes sure to let everyone know when they come into dance it's a stress-free zone so it's a place where you can like release everything that's happening and and wind down and not have to worry about like stressing over like dance you know it's, it's just a place where you can enjoy it and have fun. If you are interested, talk to your counselor about putting dance into your schedule for next year. For those who are already in dance, you might even consider auditioning for the Frisco High School Stars dance team. For more information about the upcoming Stars tryouts, here is the Stars Captain Abby Gathright and Stars Lieutenant Captain Maddie Mitchell. Hi, my name is Abby Gathright. I am the Stars Captain. And I'm Maddie Mitchell, the Stars Lieutenant Captain. Stars tryout packets are due Tuesday, February 22nd. You can find that on our Stars website, FriscoHighStars.com. Tryout clinics begin Monday, February 28th through March 2nd, and the real tryout is March 3rd. At clinics, wear anything that you feel comfortable dancing in, and on actual tryout day, wear all black, performance makeup, and red lipstick. Hope to see you there. Since part one of our trick questions was such a hit, we decided to bring you guys part two. Hope you enjoy. If you have a bowl of six apples and you take four away, how many apples do you have left? Uh, uh, two. Two. Six. How so? If you take four apples out the bowl, you still got six. You got six apples. Take away four. That's two. If you have six apples in the bowl and you take four away, how many do you have? Two. Four, because you took four away. Okay. What's taller, 5'12 or 6 feet? 6 feet. Wait, what? Wait, what? 5'12, I went 6 feet. Oh, I'm, what, what, what the hell? Ain't this the same? No, there's no 5'12. It's 6 feet. It's 6 feet, I meant. Uh, ain't it the same? <laughs> okay. There's not a sense they got 5'12. There's not a sense they got 5'12. It's 5'11. Oh, God, we're going to get it right this Freezy time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it ain't no 5'12. How many letters are in the alphabet? 26. 26. No, I know this one. This was on, this was on, uh, 24. Y'all both are dumb. 25, 25, 25, or like 17. 32. And no, 32 and the, and the word, the alphabet, I think there's. Come on now, it's in the math equation. I say it's, uh. <laughs> T H E A L. Was I right? Was I right? Eight. Twenty-eight. I Wait, think it's nine letters in the word that Elvis said. I think it's nine, nine letters. Twenty-six. Eleven. I was off a little bit. Eleven letters. How? Yo, alphabet A. Oh, dang. Y'all dumb. How many seconds are in a year? What? I don't know. Okay, so if there's sixty seconds in a minute, but in a year though, you gotta calculate all that. 
like at least like 10 million. Oh. Wait, 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 I'm tripping. Is it 365? Well, let, hold on, hold on, hold on on that, hold on. No, that's days. No, nah, but if you think about it though, 365,000. 12. Gotcha. Good morning, fellow raccoons. Welcome to the Weekend Weather Watch. I'm Isaiah Ferguson. And I'm Caleb Dukes, and it's nice to have Flex back again. Yeah, you need to behave yourself this time and stop leaving your trash in the, trash in the lunch room. That's not me. Then why do you spend so much time with the APs? That's cold, bro. Speaking of the temperature, today's going to be a high of 55 degrees and a low of 33 degrees as we get into the later hours of the day. The rest of this week, you can expect sunshines and a nice high of 70 degrees. Perfect day for a swim, right? Not just yet. Isn't there something special going on this weekend? It's what's not going on, and that would be school. We have a four-day weekend. Why? Monday is President's Day, and Friday is a bonus day, which makes it a four-day weekend. Cool. Speaking of the weather, for RACC TV, I'm Caleb Dukes. And I'm Isaiah Ferguson. Good afternoon, raccoons. I'm Isaiah Ferguson. Good morning, raccoons. Welcome to the... Good morning, raccoons. Welcome to the... Fellow. Oh, okay. fellow. Yes, good morning, fellow raccoon. Good afternoon. Oh. What time is it, mister? Good morning, raccoons. I'm Isaiah. <laughs> Just say it, Good morning, fellow raccoons. Welcome to the weekend weather watch. Good morning, fellow raccoons. Welcome to the weather weekend weather watch. <laughs> mister. 